Christina here. Welcome to day 23 of the holiday card series. We're nearing the end of the holiday card series, but I just want to let you know, this is not the end of card making for the year or even for, you know, the year until the next holiday card series. Um, I make videos three times a week all year long, so you're more than welcome to come back and see what I'm up to. But for today's card for day 23, I'm actually doing a set of cards using some patterned paper. A lot of people kind of ask me like, why don't you use patterned paper anymore? And I think it's because mostly I like to sort of make my own patterns with watercolor or stamping or things like that. But sometimes the paper is just too cute and you have to use it. So I'm gonna be using some paper from my mind's eye today and I'm gonna cut it up kind of paper piece a little bit like a quilt block and make four cards out of my all of my cutting uh, pattern paper. So I hope you guys enjoy um, and let's get into it. The pattern paper I'm using today is Holly Jolly from um, My Mind's Eye. This is their six by six pad. And when I saw these patterns, I was just taken. I love the pops of pink in there. It gives it a very retro feel. And I also love that there's small areas of gold foiling. So you have a little bit of that sparkle and metallic shine. So I've got four pieces of pattern paper that I picked out and these are double sided. So I've actually got eight patterns that I can work with today. I'm going to be cutting these all out into triangular pieces to create sort of a quilt block look. And because I want all of them to be the exact same size so they piece together perfectly, I used some A2 layer dies from Waffle Flower to cut these down. And when I cut these into the triangles, I'm going to stack these together and make sure they sort of stay all in one piece. Speaking of keeping them all in one piece, as I cut these triangles, I'm not taking my craft knife all the way to the corner. This first cut, I actually did cut from the corner, and then I realized that was a mistake. So when I do my next cut that's diagonal from the other corners, I'm only going to cut from just shy of each corner. And that's going to make it so that the paper stays intact and I can continue to have all of these papers stacked while I cut all of these triangles. I want all of these triangles to be the exact same size so that I can piece them together perfectly. Now, if you wanted to make this really easy on yourself or make it much more easy, you might want to just cut squares. I think that's probably the easier solution to making sort of like your own quilt block. Um, but I was all in, I was going for the triangles. And so I have this right here and the, I've got all those little um, connectors that I need to cut with my scissors and that'll separate all the triangles. So I just snipped from each line to the corners and to the edges and that cut all the triangles perfectly. When I, as I cut them, I placed them on my work surface in the same exact formation how I cut them. I then took each one of these papers and mixed and matched them and tried to line them up, which was somewhat difficult, especially for some of these patterns that have a specific orientation, like the trees that need to be standing straight, and also like the snowman and the Santa Claus. I didn't want those upside down. So I had to make sure that when I um, kind of grouped these together with the other patterns, that I had those in the right orientation. And I also flipped the triangles over and kind of moved them around so I could use all the different patterns on these different pieces of pattern paper. After I had them all assembled, um, I had to worry about how I was going to adhere them to my cards. And I decided I would take some white cardstock that's just slightly larger than the grouping of the patterns, and I would adhere them to that and then put them on the card. Now the size of this white cardstock at this point is really not that important. I really just wanted a good guide for how to get these on here. And I just put a little bit of adhesive on the back of each triangle and then placed them onto the white cardstock. And after I had all of them placed onto the white cardstock and had them assembled, um, I realized that the, the spacing of the white area around the outside edge um, wasn't even on all sides. And so that's when I decided I would take a ruler and also a craft knife and just trim those up so that they're um, a little more perfectly spaced. And the reason why it was a little bit challenging to put these together was because I decided to have some white lines um, or some white areas around each of the triangles. If you didn't want to do that, these would have pieced together perfectly with no problem at all. 
For my card bases, I use some Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock in the 110 pound version, and I scored these at five and a half to create a top folding A2 sized card. I put some foam adhesive on the back of each one of these uh, pattern paper quilt blocks, and then adhered them directly to the front of each card base. So at this point, I have four cards, all with these different pattern uh, kind of quilt block pieces together on the front. And I'm gonna worry about the greetings for each one of these. I'm using the Christmas Word Mix 2 stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. This is a stamp set that has two really large stamps that are all together. And you stamp them all in one piece. And then you can use a die that you buy separately, or you can buy it together with a stamp set, and you cut them all out at the same time. I'm using some Acorn ink from Versafine. This is their Claire ink. And I'm stamping it onto some Nina Environmental Desert Storm cardstock. So it's going to have a very tone-on-tone, -tone, brown to brown look. And I'm making sure I walk my fingers over all of those areas so I get a really good impression. You can see how sharp those images are. I'll be using this stamp set later this week for the day 25 video as well. So you're going to see some other die cuts up in the top corner that I've cut out. Um, but today for the, these, this set of cards, I only use the brown versions. So I took that die and I lined it up with the greetings and then put it through my Gemini Junior die cutting machine. So after I run that through, then I'm left with all these greetings all these little greetings, and they've, they're cut out all in one piece. I think it's so cool and kind of a time saver to do your greetings like this, especially if you have a bunch of cards that need greetings. So I'll set those aside for just a minute and then um, pick out which ones are going to go on the front of my cards. So I picked out four greetings. I've got, um, I think I have two circle ones, a square, and then a little banner. And I put some foam adhesive on the back of each one of these greetings and then adhered them directly into the center of my patterned paper quilt blocks. So that finishes my card set for today. Um, these are fairly simple cards and even though it was a little bit time consuming getting all those papers arranged, I really love how they turned out and I especially love that I got four out of one card making session. Thanks so much for watching today. I love how these turned out. This would be a really fun project to do with children or kids because you can um, cut up all the pieces and they can assemble that themselves into different patterns. Maybe even simplify it so it's just squares instead of these strange triangle shapes. Um, that would work really well. And I hope you guys try it out. I think it's really fun. There are so many holiday pattern papers out there. Such fun patterns for everyone to use. On screen, I've got three more videos for you to check out. These are the three previous years of day 23 in the holiday card series, so I hope you'll watch those. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button so I know you liked this video and you enjoyed it. That lets me know you want more videos just like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in another video very soon.